uh, pregnancy has been brought up a few times. I heard the most interesting, most interesting news story on the um, on the way here. I did not know that. I mean, we all know that the soldiers get really good benefits, as they should, because they defend our freedom. But I did not know that if a female soldier gets raped, that that uh, she cannot get her uh, abortion paid for by the military. Hmm. Now, I can understand if you're pro-life, whatever, they go, cool. But here's the thing, if you're pro-life, wouldn't you be a lot more offended by carpet bombing and drone attacks than you would by a star-spangled hoover? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, you know. I mean, let's just be real. You know, let's just put it in perspective, is what I'm saying. Let's put it all in perspective. Y'all ready? <laughs> and that's the annotated version. Y'all ready for your next comic? Yeah. yeah. All right, this next gentleman is coming all the way from Chicago. He's been uh, he's definitely been tearing up the city. I uh, did a show with him, uh, Tassel Free Comedy. He's hilarious, and he's going to bring that hilarity here to the book board now. Please put it together for Mr. Stan, the viewer's choice, Morrow! Hey, hey everybody, hi. Hey, okay, one person asked me. Okay, that's fucked up. Um, <laughs> hey everybody, how you doing? Right. All right, I'm real. All right, cause you got me for like 15 minutes right now, so just strap in. Um, if this is gonna be going really good or really bad, and it's too cold outside to do anything else, we're already here, right? <laughs> we got some awesome coffee available, right? We have two minors in the audience. So that's always awkward. Okay, so we're gonna just have a good time. All right, so let's try this again. I'm gonna just like walk away. I'm gonna come back and say hi, you guys doing? And we'll see what happens. Okay, right? Hold on. How you guys doing? Good. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't die yesterday, so make some noise. What's up? Yeah. Yo, are you surprised to see a black person, like two black people, at the same time or something? Like, that? it's like we saw Jason. Now I see Stan. It's, uh, it's, Double visions, college all over again. Oh, uh, so welcome. Thanks for coming out. You're, yes, whatever you said, little girl. Oh, um, this is like such a booming audio system. It's like this is built for like a like a small stage. It's like this. It's like <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Oh, um, bookworm. We question real quick before I get into my set and everything. Before I start rambling. Oh, uh, what does it mean to let your freak flag fly? Be yourself. Be who you are. Oh, that's what it is? You're in oh, the right okay. place. Cool. Thank you, Joe. Cool. I thought you had, like, had flags and comic suits that poses or something all over the place. It's just a flag flying down the street, like, in the doggy position, like, oh, let the freak flag fly. Like, oh. Uh. Oh, well, I am from Chicago. Now, originally, I live in now. Um, it's pretty cool. Drove all the way out here. It's cool. I live in an uh, area called Wrigleyville. You guys, anybody kind of familiar with Wrigleyville? Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Cause it's a very white area. So, and I found out it's a very white area because I had a little incident. It was kind of weird. It was one day me and my friends were out and we were about to go play ball. And ball is in basketball. I don't know if I'm explaining to you guys. <coughs> we're still with the legal here? Perfect. All right, so we were about to play basketball and this black guy was on the bike and he was riding down the street and he looked, he did one of those like double takes. You know, when you see something you don't believe you see. He did one of those like, huh, huh, oh, huh, hmm. And he kind of rolled over to us. And I was like, hey, what's up? You know what's going on? How you doing? He was like, oh, yeah, what's up? What's going on? Oh, uh, you live out here? And like, really excited. And I was like, yeah, I, I just moved here a month ago. Yeah. He was like, oh, that's awesome. I'm like, two streets all over. I'm like, that's what's up. He's like, yeah, do me a favor. Don't fuck this up for us, okay? <laughs> Don't do that. I was like, what do you mean? I was like, what? He was like, what? I live two streets over. Don't say hi to me. Don't speak to me. Don't talk to me at all, okay? I work too hard to get out of here. Thank you, all right? Uh, I mean, I don't think I'm saying, like, I don't think there's nothing more racist than a black person that assimilated to white culture, because they hate us. If you don't understand that, you gotta look at it like this. Like, and just like, pretend for a moment that you're black. I know it might be hard because you're good, but just pretend for a moment and make believe land. We're in the library, use your imagination. But it's like, you ever see, like, I'll put it like this. It's like being black, it's like being at a job and you know, you just around all white people and you see that one other person of color, you're like, oh shoot, awesome. I see, you know, another brother here. 
I'm gonna go talk to him. He got go to me. He like, you know, you meet everybody at work. And all of a sudden, you're like, hey, what's up, man? What's going on, cuz? Man, this is a lot of this is a white people this bitch, huh? This is a lot of white people. And that one black person's like, yeah, sure, yeah. Do me a favor. Darius? Probably Darius. Look, look, stay in your people room. Right there. I'm gonna stay over by mine and let's not interact. Okay, hey Tom, hey, hey Joe, all right. Wanna play a little hoop ball? All right. <laughs> Catch you later, buddy. Yeah, stay there, buddy. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Like, it was like weird kind of racism type thing, and I'm not really used to that. I'm used to like stereotypes and like, I'm originally from Michigan. Anybody from Michigan at all? Detroit. Oh, Detroit? Detroit. Yeah. So gangster. No one hit the dart here. <laughs> that is true Michigan parents here right there. And it's like, oh, comedy club, a comedy show with concept? Oh yeah, pretty, pretty little girl. It's cool. <laughs> we'll have a leap path for it, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, we'll Google it later, don't worry about it. Uh, but I'm from, Mid like from Michigan, I'm from a smaller town though, like like a Rockford, you know what I'm saying? I'm from a small town from Battle Creek, you know what I'm saying? They made like cereal. It's pretty much like a hybrid between like country and ghetto, you know what I'm saying? So you got like a good hybrid of like just like hicking niggas, like you know what I'm saying? Just, just town last attractors, right? But I used to work at Menards. You know, I don't know if you guys are aware of what Menards is, which is like a home home store. And I got a lot of white friends, a lot of country white friends, and they're like, hey, hey Stan, you wanna go hunting one day? And I was like, why? <laughs> it's like, oh, it's fun, it's great. You should come, you should come with us, man. Look, it's perfect, it's the perfect time to go. We can get a six pack, and we get a 12 pack and a six gauge, and we just go to town. I'm like, thank you, but no thank you, because that is fucked up. Because I said, and I'll tell you why, because I don't know if you guys noticed, I'm kind of brown. <laughs> Same color as deer. And that's the last thing I'm going to do is get shot in the woods. I can't even explain that to my friends, you know what I'm saying? That's like a brown mistake, you know what I'm saying? Like, how, how will I explain that to my, like, to my parents or to my, to my loved ones? It's like, oh my God, you know what happened to Stan? But I know what happened to Stan. He was, he was shot. He, he was, he was shot. He was dead. Oh my God, was it gang violence? No, he was hunting. He was hunting with Joe and them. And he, just, he got shot with a 12 gauge. They be like, are you serious? He was, he got shot hunting. Uh, he got shot, he got shot by a gang of deer. But no, he got shot hunting. Like, oh, well, shit, he's not getting anything from me. Never mind. He should have known better. Like, there's nothing gangster getting shot in the woods. That's, that's actually backwards. That's like. It's like old yellow, but with black people. Oh, this is not good, man. That's a sexy ass giraffe. Oh, yeah! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was. Just for a record, I was really about to go to my, my little segue now. Look, that giraffe is looking me dead in my eyes. It's like. <laughs> like a rapist ass giraffe. Just like, <laughs> like a creeper. Just. Painted that, but they had picked that horny as hell. It was just like, it was like, hey, you should, you should do a zoo animal. I don't know which one. Do a giraffe. Like, I feel like that giraffe whispers to you, like, give me some crackers. Mm, come see me at the zoo. <laughs> oh, this is great. Anywho, so I'm actually, sadly, I'll put it out here. I'm actually recently single now, so I'm actually out there with you, Claire. What, what? Available. And I'm thinking about a good job, because I don't like my job now. More about that later, guys. Um, I don't like my job now, but I think a good job for single guys and fellas, you kind of back me up on this if you will. That's the idea. Planned Parenthood. <laughs> Slow down. I know there's kids here, because they ain't doing Planned Parenthood. But I'll tell you what. <laughs> Planned Parenthood is good because it's nothing like knowledge. Knowledge is power. Am I correct? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes? No? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, we got a library. I'm thinking like, knowledge is power. I don't know. Oh, this is Netflix. And I ain't picked a book up in a minute, bitch. Like, just saying, like, knowledge is power. And I feel like the best power you can get is knowing who has STD as opposed to prevent. That's like the best prevention. You know what I'm saying? Like, for example, Let's just say, I don't know, uh, you. What's your name, lady? Julie. Julie, I like that. Julie, it's not so safe and Caucasian. So say Julie was at a hat day nightclub at Rockford, but Julie stopped at Pound Fairhood to get a little mm -hmm sauce, right? A little healthy cream, if you will. 
And if I saw Julie, I'm like, oh wow, I'm not gonna talk to Julie because I think she has herpes, right? But I can't say that. But if my friend was like, oh man, you see old girl in the red shirt with a little backwards Aquaman shirt right there? I will, I will hit that. And I will be like, uh, don't do that. Uh, uh, no, no, brother. Like, bro, she is hot. I'm like, uh, she is hot burning. <laughs> she is sizzling, son. <laughs> Uh, Cause the clap is real. When you think about it, the clap is a horrible, horrible thing, man. Like some people don't even have the clap anymore. Like as soon as you drop the pants, it's like a live studio audience right here. Like as soon as the panties drop, it is just like an applause sign right here, and just everybody just. <laughs> it's just a horror. No, oh, somebody must have a clap here. Then never mind. I apologize, Robert. <laughs> I don't care. What's the clap? Never mind. Sorry, scratch that one for the video. <laughs> no, um, I think another good place to meet people at is the laundry mat. Because I'm not a baller. I'm broke. But you don't need money to go to the laundry mat and meet women. Fellas, right? Right, brother? Right? Yeah, yeah. That's right. You can be a sexy ass giraffe at a laundry mat. No, I'm just saying because like, I feel like it's better to go to the laundry mat and meet women because you don't even need that much money. Like you go to the club, you do bottle service, it's like what, $200, $250 for absolute. You buy a girl's drinks, it's like $10, $12 a pop. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that to me is way too much. You go to a laundromat, all you need is like two rolls of quarters. And you just stand by a dryer and just wait till that bitch go down to two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Cause like you can buy a club, you buy a drink in the club, do whatever. If you give a girl an extra 10 minutes on a dryer, she can do anything. <laughs> you should be smooth as hell. You should be sitting there like, you sit next to the dryer and be like, what are you doing? Oh, how you doing? You know, uh, you come around uh, Mr. Bubbles a lot? No? <laughs> yeah, I see your dryer's on three, uh, 30 seconds. Hold on. <laughs> Got you, girl. Yeah. If you need me, be by the soaps. <laughs> you know, like, if you go, like, say, like, if you only need, like, real bottle, like, straight bottle service in the laundromat, it's not like alcohol. You can have a bottle of game. That's 96 loads. That's at least four or five females just holler at you like, girl, what's going on? You gonna buy that type? Baby, I got you. Hawaiian gang, baby, I got you. It smells delicious, yeah. Just tell them to stop, just tell them to stop. Just, <laughs> you make it sexy, you be like, yeah, get it, get it, get it. Uh, close your eyes, son. Yeah, get it, get it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you don't explain that to them, dad. I don't, what does this mean, dad? Well, we, we meet a young lady we love, and uh, it's just, just pour shit down throat like that. Like, <laughs> <it's> inappropriate. <laughs> I don't get it. Like, oh, uh, okay. No, station, I'll let you watch past 12 o'clock. I'm going to let you watch it once so you can understand the jokes that the black guy said earlier. So, <laughs> I'm going to take the block up the air desk so you can understand what's going on. So, um, anybody married? Anybody? Okay. Oh, that's why the single thing didn't work out that well. You guys are trapped. Um, <laughs> <laughs> High five. Woo! Uh, <laughs> do you guys do you guys get the whole wedding thing and all that stuff too? Gift registry? All that good stuff? Sure. Yeah? No? <laughs> Our fans know. Yeah. Do you get gift registry though? Sure. Well, uh, what store? Uh, I don't even know if it exists any. Dayton's? Dayton's was like a home, <laughs> like, a, like a home in... Like Macy's. Oh, like a Macy's? So some, some women shit? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that is what they said. So, yeah. Got you. Got you. Any miles there in your first street, too? I saw some buyback. No? He is all into that kindle fire. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't interrupt him. You put it down. It's like, that's an L. FY. That's a true married man right there. He had no idea what's going on. All he heard was, is he by Mary? Yep, right here. Yep. Baby, see me sound Mary? I sound Mary. All right. Don't fuck my angry birds. Uh, yeah. Where you register at? I'm not answering nothing else. No, are you married? I'm married. I said I'm married. Shit, I'm married. God damn it. Stop asking me questions. You don't get me caught up. No. Go look at my text messages. No. No, I'm saying, well, I think gift registry is I, strictly for women because it's stupid. Because nobody ever came to me with some cool gift registry stuff. Nobody was like, I feel like this should be a gift registry for guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, GameStop, strip clubs, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Because no dude was ever like, hey, man, I'm getting married. Oh, for real, where are you getting registered? Oh, we're at Macy's and Home Depot. <laughs> I'm 
pick the drill out. You want to be buy me a drill? Like no man wants to buy another man a drill. And you have, I think I think weddings would be more exciting. You'd be more excited for somebody to get married if you're like, hey, where you register at? Man, I register at the Amro, bitch. Like, oh, I got two strip clubs. I got two slap dances for you, brother. I love you, dog. I love you, bro. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy those last teas in your face, because that's the last of it. Maybe I'll explain to him what marriage is like, because it's like being a restricted free agent. You just can't go nowhere. You can look at other teams, but you're not going anywhere else. You're not getting traded no why else. So. Anyway, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, that's so bad. Uh, can I talk to you guys about some, um, a little bit about some black stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, can I talk about, yeah? No, maybe. Oh, thank you. Thank you, fellow light skin sister, for approval. <laughs> I didn't even see you come in. I didn't even know you. <laughs> you guys are sneaky. Oh. Um, <laughs> I was talking about some black, uh, just just some black stuff, just just some stuff on my heart, real quick. Um, I hate that Popeyes commercial. <laughs> to death. I think that Popeyes oh, commercial is the worst shit yes. ever in life. Don't get me wrong, Popeyes is pretty good. But that commercial is just like it is horrible. It is like some mammy backwards, like it's like a Tyler Perry produced Popeyes. <laughs> it will be a Tyler Perry present. Popeyes commercial. And I know for a fact that it wasn't like anybody minority in the ad agency when they did it. It was like probably all white people in there and it's just like, oh my god. We're getting killed in the demographic. I know uh, Church's Chicken is killing us in the uh, urban market. KFC is climbing up there. We need to reach the people. We need to talk to our to our demographic. We need to talk to the children. And whoever she said, that's right. That's right, Haley. We need to talk to to the people directly. And like one guy was in there, like some intern trying to make it make it up in the world. He was like, um, uh, Bill, Bill, I just saw Tyler Perry meet the Browns. <laughs> I think I know how they speak. Like, they're like, Jim, get on it. And like it's like I feel like and not only blame the girl in the commercial, I feel like in the commercial when she was at the commercial shoot, she was actually real professional. You know what I'm saying? Got a sad card and everything. And she was in like, okay, Tawanda, I need you to read these lines. And go ahead, go. It was like, all right, um, love that chicken. Popeyes. It was like, all right, great. Um, let's try it again. Uh, but let's try a little more, uh, a little more soul, if you will. Soul, is that good? A little more soul? A little color purple? You know, like with Seely, some sister, and you just, just hand clapping, and you're like, you're so happy, and you're like, oh, this moment is so great. We're going to Popeyes. You know, try that. She was like, um, okay, no problem. Um, Love that chicken, Popeye. It was like, oh man, we're almost there. Um, to Wanda, right? We'll call you Wanda. That's short. Um, Wanda, uh, let's try a little bit more like Sunday morning, like Baptist church, like a great comedian named Jason. He talked about a church one day and how it goes extra long. I want that. Give me that Jason. Give me that Jason there. Give me that. Give me that soul. And she's like, oh, I'm not really comfortable with that. Uh, I feel like it's kind of degrading to my people. That I mentioned we're paying you fifty thousand dollars. Fuck it. I'll be the same. Oh, uh, love that chicken. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Sorry, doing a jig and shit. You're like, oh, this is horrible. But I don't blame you for fifty thousand dollars. I got fifty thousand dollars. I'll do that shit too. I, I'm worth a rag and shit. But like, when I'm on the run. Lord, Lord, I need some Popeyes. Like, I will set my people back to pay my bills. I'm just saying, I will sell the fuck out. I'm already light skinned, so I'm already having a day. So I'm like, it's cool with me. Don't judge me. Uh, nah, um, a couple more things. I know you guys probably tired of seeing my black ass for a moment. Um, I work at a restaurant. I don't know if you guys make it to the city, though. Do you know, uh, do you know uh, Grandma's Cafe at all? Anybody yeah. been there? Yeah, it's all right. Let me put it like this. I know you. Man. I'm gonna talk about y'all. Um, <laughs> it's like a cheesecake factory. You guys familiar with cheesecake factory? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, imagine a, a cheesecake factory, but way sexier, right? A little more professional. Got little white shirts and everything like that. And I'm a server, so it's cool. But stereotypically, I I'm just that I don't like serving black people. And I'm not gonna say like black people like you know. Like me or Light Skin back there or Willie Mae or Jason. I'm assuming your girlfriend's Light Skin too, so I'm kind of doing that as well. You know, not like 
regular, you no, know, they call yourself top black people. I'm talking about like N words type black people. <laughs> but I'm not going to use that word because I, I don't like using it. So I'm just call them Mondays because everybody hates Mondays. <laughs> so bear with me. So these goddamn Mondays come to the restaurant and they kind of go. Just on some Monday type shit, I swear to you. And they say the dumbest things, like, I mean, simple things, like, everybody knows what strawberry lemonade is, right? Yes. Yeah. You just lemonade with strawberry strawberry flavor. Right. This is Monday, ask me, hey man, what does strawberry, taste, uh, strawberry lemonade taste like? I'm like, I don't know. Um, strawberries? <laughs> um, it's like, I want to say something ignorant, like, a strawberry kiss? I don't know. What, 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 do you, what do you think? It's like, uh, Oh no, is it, is it good? I'm like, you know what, it's fine. Don't, it's like Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid, it's Kool-Aid. That's what it is, it's Kool-Aid, my friend. It's Kool-Aid, oh yeah, man, we that shit up good. Like, and like, I hate, the only thing too, and I really, this is what I really do hate, it's like they come in and they see me and they act like I know secret recipe type shit with the food. You know what I'm saying? Like, anything I say, I just, like, if I say something's good or they ask me for the, I guess the, the hookup type of ice, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if say like Julie was a server and a Monday came up to her and was like, hey yo, uh, this is fried chicken good. And you'd be like, oh yeah, it's very delicious. It has like spices and it's deep fried, it comes with mashed potatoes. You'd be like, oh, okay, oh, whatever. But they come to me, it's like, hey man, <laughs> hey cuz, uh, what's this chicken like, man? I'm like, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, it's pretty decent. He's like, nah man, is it like that chicken chicken? <laughs> And like that fried fried. I mean, let me ask you this, man. If your grandma, if your grandma's cooking it, you knows it's like that grandma cooking chicken. I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you're in downtown Chicago. You, what are you looking like? Are you serious? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's Bambi's chicken. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's, it's it's just like Popeye. Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. What do you want me to say? Like, <laughs> it's horrible, man. It's like, oh. Uh. Oh, this is a goddamn Monday night, son. Um, <laughs> but no, I mean that respectfully. Um, I don't. Um, but I mean, the thing is, it's funny too, but like, why people y'all are no different? Yeah, ooh, I'm quiet. Y'all <laughs> y'all get too excited. Y'all, y'all get, it's like y'all get really, I'll put like this, two versions of y'all. There's women and there's men. <laughs> Surprise. And women, I don't know about y'all white women, but y'all don't like eating full meals. Everything is like a team up. Everything is like a partnership with y'all. It's like, like I work at lunch and I'm like, hey, how you doing? What can I eat for you this lunch? Um, I want to do a salad, but I don't want a big salad. I want a small salad. Um, Claire, do you want to share a salad with me? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do a, we'll, let's do a, let's do a lunch salad. Is that small, right? Yeah, I'm going through dessert. Yeah, um, let me do a small salad, dressing on the side, because I can't have my dressing, touch my lettuce. Oh my God, it'd be so good. It'd be so good. And we want to do dessert. Uh, oh my God, Claire. Claire, if I get a pie, would you, you share a pie with me? Would you, would you, I, you, you'll share a pie with me. Okay, we're going to share a pie too. Yeah, yeah, and, and I want to do wine. I know it's 12.30. I know. Okay, you want to split a glass of wine? What, what, what kind of Chardonnay do you have? I'll take house. I'll take, we're gonna split, we're gonna split Chardonnay? We're gonna split Chardonnay, yes, yes. Can we do that, please? I'm like, shut the fuck up. And you, how are you even alive right now, eating half a meal and sharing a salad? A salad by itself is not enough for a young boy, let alone a grown adult. It's like, oh, just count, I'm counting calories. I'm like, no, don't count calories. Just count your days till you die. That's all you need to do. Just, just count, just have a countdown to the last breath, because. Oh my God, I want to share a pie. Like, don't, don't share a pie. Just, just kill yourself. Just kill yourself. Just, <laughs> just kill yourself. The white guys, I don't think about white guys the most by a restaurant. I like y'all because when you guys drink, you're like the most excitable people ever. <laughs> I swear to God. You guys are just like, it's like I, I, went, I worked in a bar one time, right? I worked in a bar and I was like, uh, what can I get you guys to drink tonight? And they're like, bro, yo, come on, yo. We're doing shots. We're doing fucking shots, bro. Yo, we're gonna hook you up. Yo, we're gonna hook you up. Yo, I, I got a black friend. We're cool like that. Yeah, we're gonna hook you up, man. We got, we're doing, what are we doing, bro? We're doing J-Mo, j, -Mo? j -Mo, right? j -Mo. We're doing j -Mo. We're doing j -Mo, son. I'm like, okay, cool. No problem. Is this a celebration? It's Monday night. I'm like, don't use that word, please. That's offensive. <laughs> 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 
anything that's our word, please. No, no, please. Please, I understand it's Christmas. Please, come on now. <laughs> uh, last thing, I, I believe y'all just got to see me. Um, somebody broke it. Who broke it, girl? Somebody broke something. You blew it up. You blew it up? Yeah. You blew it What's your name, sweetie? Lola, Lola, you're awesome. Lola, uh, Lola, cook your ears. It's about to get adult. So, <laughs> I'm talking about sex. <laughs> All right, so cook your ears, Lola. How old are you, bro? Twelve? Yeah, close thirteen. Got you. Listen up. So, <laughs> take notes. Um, no, nah, uh, I'm assuming there's enough of us here. And I see two kids, so I'm assuming at least two people have sex. <laughs> right. I'm assuming we have sex here. So, this is how I know I'm getting old. I'm on 28. I know I might look older. That's you know. Years been rough. Um, I'm 28, but I know I'm getting old because, and fellas, just, you ain't gotta say, you don't have to clap or anything. Just kind of nod your head, look at me a little, a little bit. If you ever had crap during sex? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what's funny? The one time I asked, the second question I asked the whole night, this man listened to. I, I was talking about you. I know I was saying we'll point my out. I was like, anybody had crabs in sex? My man was like, mm. yes. That shit is seized up. Oh, um, I mean, it's, it's crazy because I, I've had cramps during sex, and it is horrible. There's nothing worse. Than you actually, you know, you actually get it in. Like, fellas, correct me if I'm wrong. You, you're stroking it. You're getting it in. You get cramped. You should try to walk around with a hard dick. Like, hey, I'm gonna fuck that for the other minute, girl. Oh shit, like, oh, woo, woo, woo. When I get this shit right, I'm a woo, girl. Oh, oh god, god, god. Uh, I need a banana. I need, I'm gonna give you a, give you a banana. I'm gonna give you a banana. I need a banana. I need some potassium. Like, I'm gonna use my stand for a visual just like walking around. Ah, there you That helps. Like, you know what I'm saying? But like, this is my thing. Like, you know you have a good one. You know, you know you have a good girl or or a, a special woman in your life. If you get a cramp during sex, you know, a wife if you will. You get a cramp during sex and like this happened to me once, right? Right, you know, I was, when I was dating this young lady, um, I had cramp during sex. She actually got off and rubbed my leg. It was like, are you okay? You all right? I'm like, oh, I'm good. Mm. She's like, it's cool, it's cool. She rubbed it. She's like, well, whenever you're ready, we'll get back to it, you know, whatever. And I was like, damn, this is like wifey, son. This is great. You know what I'm saying? Then I was thinking, like, what if that was me? And she got cramped. No. I probably wouldn't have stopped at all. Like I was just if, and fellas, you know, if anything, I probably thought I was giving it to her so well, I gave her a cramp. You know what I'm she was like, oh my god, I have a cramp on my leg. But you got cramp in your leg, that's right. <laughs> but you got cramp in that leg. Don't stroke that cramp in your leg. I'll stroke it out to you. No, like fellas, like, we, fellas, by nature, we're assholes. We, you know what I'm saying? Like, if a girl can have a heart attack, you know, have a stroke. It will just be like, yeah, like she's like, oh my god, I can't, I can't feel my left side. I, I can't feel my left side. You're like, I bet she can't feel your left side. Yeah. I'm, I'm having a stroke. I'm like, yeah, I bet you having a stroke. Stroking that ass. I'm stroking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it'd be horrible. Like, a girl can die and we think we the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, a, a young lady can die and we'll call our boys and be like, hey, what's up? Hey, hey come, what's up? Hey, yo. Hey, what's up, Joe? What's going on? Man, not the chill, man, chill, man. Uh, you're having to, uh, coming up, having to, uh, to Laura, right? Right? Yeah, she, oh yeah. yeah, she died. Yeah. No, she died during sex. Yeah. yeah, no, I killed it. No, I killed it. Yeah, I killed it. Yeah, I killed it. Yeah. I killed it. Yeah. But yeah, I killed that shit, son. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, remember, Laura? The girl from the laundry man. No, you're from the yeah, two loads, baby clothes, yeah, yeah, I killed that son. Yeah, 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 the wake is next week. I bet there'll be some bitches in there. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm actually done. That's it, y'all. Thank you very much for listening to this time. I don't know how long it was, but thank you. Appreciate it. That was for now. Merry Christmas. Unless you hear something different than whatever the holiday reflects you. I said that. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, Dan uh, actually gave Sam some extra time than what I originally told him. 
because our headline is Let's Go Dumpy. I do want to remind you, though, before we go, we have a donation call for the comics because they've traveled a long way. So please don't feel like you're interrupting the show if you need to leave early and you want to stop by and uh, drop off a donation and say, Hey, we believe in the Christmas spirit and thanking those who work hard. And... Silence. Hey, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> mention money, people get all quiet. All right, what? Respect the for this. I thought they were for free like we do. Man. We didn't say that. That, that last one, that just hit too close to home. Look, look, Larry, now we know what happened to your mom and how she bought up a CD. Take your mom! I'm sorry I opened up wounds like that. Five, thank you. Yeah, so, uh... Oh, thank you. Go Bears! <laughs> Great I'm a Packer man. I, said, I, don't, I don't know. You know what? Actually, I, I say I'm a Packer man, but you know, I don't. I don't know shit about sports. That's why I don't make sports jokes because I don't know anything about sports. Then again, neither do the Bears. But this is not. <laughs> it's a freaking sweatshirt. 